Hi guys! It's Girls American Girls again! Today I'm doing a video, as you can see, so many reckless journals are in this background. But we're there they're nothing to do with right now. Without further ado, today we're gonna show you all of GAG's books she has read for the year of 2015 so far. This is counting as January through May. June is not included because she hasn't finished the book she wanted in June. Let's get started with it. Alright, so for January only, this is just January. This is the only books I read for January. They were both um, from the same exact thing. They were Sisters. I mean, Smile first. Smile was the first book. Um, yeah, this is book number one. Let me put it back in the thing quick. I want to kind of rush this video because I want to get it over with. No offense, but it was highly requested video, too. Okay, sorry. And also, I have Sisters. They have, like, a nice theme. It's really cool. I want to get the drama book. But I didn't get it yet. Uh, but it, it's, it's got to be exciting. So those are our sisters. Smile. February, I read three books. This is book number one. It is seriously Hamlet. Um, I know. It's kind of a weird book, but it's by William Shakespeare and Courtney Carbone. And I forgot to give a rate for um, Smile and Sisters. I give them both a rate of 4.5 out of 5. So, yeah. This book I give a rate, um, a, a, um, 3.5 out of, no, 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 not a 3.5. <laughs> I give this book rate a 4 out of 5. Yeah. So, here's the back. It's like a text message theme, like, as you can see, it's like a really cool text message theme. I also read in February the story of Half a Girl, uh, by... Ver Veria Hydranandi, and I give this rate a three out of t three out of five. It's not, it's okay, but I didn't really like it. The last book I read in February was Upside Down in the Middle of Nowhere by Julie 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 T. Lamana, and yeah, I give this rate a four point five out of five. Now we're going on to March, which I read two books. Uh, the first one was uh, This Is How I Find Her by Sarah Plosky. I give this book a 5 out of 5 on Goodreads. Last book I read in March was Unspoken by Sarah Rees Be Brennan. I give this a 5 out of 5 as well. I want to find the second one of these, but they're but it's sold out, so I can't get it, obviously. But I've try I will try to find it in the future. Now we're going on to April, which I read two books. The first one is Everything I Never Told You by Chelsea Chel S.D. Ning. I give this book a 5 out of 5 on good rates. Last book I read in April was A Matter of Heart by Amy Filner Domini. Domini. And I gave this book a 5 out of 5 on good rates. Yeah, it's one of my favorite books. And now we're going on to the last month, May. But this was made in June, by the way. But I, again, I haven't finished any books in June yet. But um, once at the end of the year, I will do June through, de through December. So, yeah. The first book I have is Wonder. I give this book a 5 out of 5 on good rates. It is a really good book. And it's really good for a June. A, a, I mean, May, excuse me. I loved reading it. It was so good. The next book is The Amulet by The Stonekeeper. I give this book a 5 out of 5 in good rates. It is a really good book, but I still can't find the second one either. So that is a little bothering me, but that's okay. I will try to find part 2. There is a, this is part 1. But, yeah! Now this is probably the biggest book I've ever read, but it is a really good book. Trust me. It, then this is the latest book I've read, and I finally, finally, finally finished it. 
I still have more books coming. And guess what it is? All the light we cannot see by Anthony Doerr. I give this a five out of five. Definitely. And this book is way huger compared to the rest. As you can see, the rest are pretty small. I still had more coming, but they never came because they were on back order. But thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.